Good morning, we are from the Dream Heart Companies and today we have presentations on sustainable city of Medinis. My name is On. My name is Peida. My name is Peizin. My name is Yin Yin. What is the concept of a sustainable city? We define a sustainable city as an innovative city which uses the which use the information and communication technologies to improve the efficiency and achieve Uber technologies. Furthermore, we, do, we need to ensure that sustainable city will help us to meet the present and future needs with respect to economy, social, environment aspect. How is the world today? As we know, Today, the world has facing a lot of problems like overcrowded pollutions, and we need a sustainable cities to overcome all these problems. How was the city today? As we can see from the pictures, there are a lot of cities which are overcrowded, which means people are facing a lot of problems than before. What is a smart city? A smart city is a city use information and data management to improve the living standard of the peoples and citizens while at the same time achieve sustainable development. Smart city have five key areas that include peoples, economic business, governments, mobilities and environments. I will explain each section briefly. Let's take a let's take an example of peoples. People are those who are living in a smart cities. They can enjoy the they can enjoy the benefit of a smart city. As an example, the smart vehicles, like electric vehicles, by the use of electric vehicles can reduce the release of carbon dioxide as a traditional transport. Mm -hmm. Cars. Next, I will expand on the economy and business aspect. Business investment has played a very crucial role on a smart city because a sustainable city needs a support from business and investment from both private and governments. So let's go to the government parts. Government can provide policy to support, regulate and provide incentive to help the sustainable cities to continue develops. Furthermore, governments can provide communications to the peoples so that they can fully optimize the service to improve sustainable city. Next, we will focus on mobilities, electric cars and public vehicles that I have mentioned before. I will pass the presentations to my teammates Peda. We will focus on the complex ecosystem and the plan of a smart city. According to a different needs of a smart sustainable city, as a result, the plans for a smart city will be varied from case to case, so we can take a look. Here is the overall plan of the smart city that included cars, infrastructure, data center, material, apartment building and others. The things that I mentioned before is the main focus for Medini later on. My partners will elaborate more details in smart mobility. According to Tato Kari Amwa Ahmad, a smart city is a place where technology is leveraged to improve urban issues such as mobility, energy usage, public safety, and convenience. It is also about life ability, less time commu commuting, and space for leisure activities, more time spent with the family, and so on. This is our smart city master plan of ecosystem. They are divided into four main parts, which are residents, community, investors, and nation. Firstly, <coughs> for safe, residents is safe and secure. It is also a livable community with world-class amenities and a healthy, sustainable environment. The convenient technology that also enhances quality of life. Secondly, for connected, community, community is a reliable infrastructure and high-quality service. 
Besides, it also brings efficiency and effective management. It takes a balance of privacy, community online and in person. Thirdly, for livable investors, it's a secure growth investment and a recognized brand. The best investment destination in Southern Malaysia. As we know, Singapore's currency is very stronger than Malaysia's currency in current. Lastly, for efficient nation, it's necessary to create a world-class sustainable city on the cutting edge of urban practice. A leading example and model for other cities to learn from a platform for advancing Malaysia industry. Last but not least, a complex ecosystem has two main categories, which are city shaper and stakeholders. Firstly, city shaper has divided into two main categories. They are city department and local government. The Medini City Department needs to ensure that the communication between the local citizens and the smart city policy is well communicated so that the smart city can be fully utilized. If not, there is little contribution to the sustainable development. Next, local government is the municipality which spans the various departments and coordinates and integrates activities across the city. Administrative arrangements can vary considerably around the world, but generally, generally this layer will be ultimately responsible for overall budgeting and integrated city planning. Besides, Stakeholders have also been divided into two main categories, which are citizen and civil society, respectively. Citizens is regardless of political system, the role of ordinary people in shaping cities is changing as technology creates more smart citizens. Increasingly connected and with more location enabled and service related apps available to them. Smart citizens are both consumers and creators of city information. Lastly, civil society is formal and informal groupings plays many different types of role in cities and they include sporting or religious groups, community organizers, researchers, interest groups and others. Making things simple and efficient that's smart. So Medini decided to build a smart mobility in this project. It consists of six fields. Smart mobility is our new growth and mobility management concept, setting new standards. It allows you to build and expand a modern mobility management system. Smart mobility may also feature monitoring, control, and optimization of the various types of applications, all in one common user interface. This, this helps you to improve the efficiency in your traffic, parking and public transport system while optimizing the use of the existing road network and asset. This results in enhanced urban mobility and also has positive effect in terms of reduced environmental impact and better service for the road users and traveler. Smart mobility in Medini consists of five fields. First is urban traffic management. As the traffic situation changes from hour to hour, the urban traffic control application adapts to strategy in real time to the actual situation, even in unpredictable traffic conditions. The system constantly monitors and forecasts the traffic status and optimizes the signal control according to traffic flow efficiency, environmental conditions and other strategy decisions defined by the road authorities. Second is highway and tuners. Effective traffic management to highway and tuner is a necessary in the light of continuously increasing the traffic volume. The highway and tunnel solution improve road network efficiency, 
reliability and safety by applying various control measures. Medini may also decide to build a connectivity between Medini and Singapore. It is designed for cooperators to go beyond Malaysia and serve Asia and good access to international markets. And the third one is intelligent strip lighting. Intelligent control strip lighting with the possibility to adapt the amount of light to actual road and traffic conditions. It may help to reduce energy consumption and improve the useful lives of the luminaries. Strict light control connect light points, traffic detection and environmental sensor with its advanced lighting management applications. Controlling, managing and maintaining the light infrastructure is facilitated by the intentive user interface providing real-time information about your lighting asset and allowing the adjustment of illumination level on demand. The fourth one is public transport. The public transport application offers important features for raising the attractiveness of the public transport mode such as high quality of travel planning, real-time information service and public transport priority, improving travel time and service regulator. The public transport application also contain powerful operator management tools, which jointly lead to better utilization of the existing fleet and improve the service for the users. And last but not least, e-mobility. E-mobility is most important part in Medini project. My partner in E will further discuss about the e-mobility about the electric vehicles. According to Medini website, electric vehicle is one of the current project of Medini. Electric vehicle charged with electricity from renewable sources can reduce future emissions of greenhouse gases and air pollutants from road transport. The transport in Medini is tend to be electrical. For example, public transport such as bus and taxi all are using electric. Electric vehicles may also carry some advantages and disadvantages. First advantage is no emissions. Electric cars are 100% eco-friendly as they run on electrically powered engines. It does not emit toxic gases or smoke in the environment as it runs on clean energy source. They are even better than hybrid car, as hybrid car run on gas producing emissions. Secondly, no gas required. Electric cars are entirely charged by electricity you provide, meaning you don't need to buy any gas ever again. Driving fuel-based car can burn a hole in your pocket as prices of fuel has gone up non-stop. With electric cars, the cost can be avoided as an average American spends 2000 to 4000 dollars on gas per year. Although electricity isn't free, an electric car is far cheaper to run. Lastly, quiet and quick. It only takes one ride in battery power car to understand the improved ride quality of an electric car compared to a normal car. An electric car is very quiet and very smooth. It makes more regular cars seem clunky and outdated. On the other hand, the first disadvantage is longer recharge time. While it takes a couple of minutes to fully fill your normal car, but an electric car takes about 4 to 6 hours to get fully charged. Therefore, you need dedicated power stations as the time taken to recharge them is quite long. Next, not suitable for cities facing shortage of power. As electric cars need power to charge up, cities already facing acute power surge shortage are not suitable for electric cars. The consumption of more power would hamper their daily power needs. Last but not least, higher cost. The current crop of electric cars are mostly priced between 30,000 to 
40,000 US dollar that makes electric vehicle more expensive than mid-size mid-size gas power vehicles in this light electric vehicles are indeed much more expensive now for the conclusion smart apply to the concept of root it is associated with many positive values such as accessibility comfort reliability and safety are some of the values that should prevail in the definition of the smart mobility and since they are the key to meeting the needs of passenger and pedestrian as they need to adapt into the quality sustainable life that we plan therefore having electrical vehicle in madini will lead madini to become a sustainable city would Medini continue as a sustainable city in the future? The answer is yes. Our group member agree that Medini will become a sustainable city in the future. The reason is that smart city and smart mobilities provide a uniform to fully utilize the infrastructures and amenities to achieve energy efficiency and sustainability in the long run. Furthermore, the project of Medini has been supported by our local governments and Prime Minister Najib which means the Medini has acquired the support from politicals. This is usually the most important part for a sustainability city to become successful. Thank you. These are the reference lists.